your brother, Hello. Larry Adenekon, welcoming you to the Really, Really Knowing God channel as I lead this fellowship of information and inspiration in the knowledge of God. So, powered by the Pastor Larry Adenekon Center for Inspiration, the PLACA. This is a daily gem devotional, making you a gem to your generation, gem sewn upon the crown of Jesus Christ. We're shining truth this morning on the most crucial battlefront these days, coming from Colossians chapter 1, 1, 2, 3. <clears throat> we are praying together now and after we dive into it. Father God, we bless your name, O God, give you glory and praise. We ask, O God, that as we spend a, few, a couple of minutes together with your people, O God, you breathe upon that which we do in the name of Jesus Christ. You cause us not only to be hearers, but doers also of your word. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now, Colossians 2, 1 to 3. For I want you to know what a great conflict I have for you and those in Laodicea, for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, attending to all the riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the knowledge to the acknowledge, yeah, to the knowledge of the mystery of God, both of the Father and of Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Loaded. Praise God. Okay, so it says, I want you to have an idea to know the great conflict, the great contention, the great um, um, fight, the great, uh, yeah, fights, contention, okay, struggle in prayer that I've, that I've been having, that I've been going through, that I've been engaging in, okay, for you and to those in Laodicea, even for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh. Praise God. Some of them have never met Paul. Okay, nevertheless, he has heard about them. He was interested in them. He was praying for them. He was praying about them. He was praying on their behalf. He was interceding for them. And now he now said he was going through quite some spiritual battle on the behalf of those people. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Now, um, it's a good thing for a pastor an apostle as well, to pray, you know, for the people under his spiritual care, you know, and uh, like Paul has said many, many places, and also ask them to pray for him. Amen. Now it says he was having spiritual warfare, spiritual conflict, spiritual contention, spiritual battle, spiritual fights. He was having these things on behalf of those people. Now we do go through that, and um, the fights may be against Satan and all his efforts to hurt and to harm, Praise God. And Jesus has given us a number of promises concerning that. We just have to enforce it because Satan is an outlaw. He doesn't obey the rules. He doesn't go by the rules. He knows the rules, but outlaws don't go by the rules. That's just the way Satan is. He will never go by the rules, even though he knows the rules. You know, it's just the way like, thieves and robbers operate. They are not supposed to come to your heart, but they come uh, anyway. That's the way Satan operates. So you have to wrestle against all that. Keep him at bay. Do not allow him to come near you, you know, and all that. That is one area of conflict. Conflict. Now, another area of conflict, and that's the one I said in these our days, the next battlefront where we are facing right now is that area where Satan um, tries to um, infuse into the church, into our teaching, heresies, into the church, into our teaching, poisons, into the church, into our doctrine, um, um, things that can destroy, that can kill, that can, that, 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 that can cause a lot of that can go viral and cause a lot of damage, you know, that is going on right now. And that is the battlefront right now for those who know, for those who can see, those who can perceive. It's a battlefront right now. So if you're an intercessor and you are listening to me, it is one area you need to battle in, you need to fight, you need to wrestle, you need to contend, you need to, you need to bomb the devil in that area. Listen to me, whenever anything manages to enter the campuses, they go viral. And that is what Satan is doing these days. He will bring some wrong doctrine. He will bring some spiritual poison. He will bring some spiritual virus and make sure that somehow he manages to enter into the midst of young people and then he spreads like wildfire. Therefore, dear intercessor, please listen to me today. That's a battlefront at this point in time. That is one of the things we need to wrestle against at this point in time. Yes, Satan attacks us, try to cause us harm and hurt, but believe me, it is not the present battle battle front. The real battle front now is a doctrinal thing. And believe me, it's it's um, also it's in the midst of the youth. So when you pray. 
pray about you because they are the future. That's where Satan is going to, you know, um, is hitting, is attacking, you know, at this point in time. May God help us to understand me in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So he went on and said he was praying for them that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love. Now, encouragement through unity. Encouragement through togetherness. That's what he was talking. That they may encourage in love through being knit together. When, I'm sure you have seen lambs. Lambs, when it is cold, they all come together and provide warmth for one another. You see it in puppies too. For those of you who are used to puppies, all of them would come very close to each other. They are providing warmth for each other. And now this is talking about encouragement through being knit together. When we operate in love, when we operate... Um, like we are knit together. How can I illustrate this being knit together? Can you imagine a, a sweater? A sweater or cardigan or something. Somebody has doing some crochet work or some knitting work and all that. Yeah, the way these things, you know, weave around each other and knit around each other. Yeah, that's what he's talking about. When we are closely knit together. Hallelujah. That's the way we encourage one another. We provide warmth for, for, for one another. That's what he's saying there. Amen. That their hearts may be encouraged through being knit together in love. And then goes on to say, attaining to all the riches of the full assurance of understanding to the knowledge of the mystery of God. This is fantastic. All those things will lead you into something. The riches of one, um, full assurance, full assurance of what? Of understanding. Understanding in what? In the knowledge of of the mystery or the secret of God. You remember that this mystery that we have been talking about is right from Ephesians and then towards the end of chapter 1 of Colossians we came about this mystery all over again if you remember. Now it's saying that there is a um, there, is a, there are some riches that go with it when you have a full assurance and a full understanding of the knowledge of these secrets of God. Hey, praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's so good for a child of God to be interested in knowing, to be interested in, in um, knowing the deeper things of the word of God and not just the things you are claiming and the things you are binding and this and that, you know, to know all the things that God has arranged for us so that when you have all those things, believe me, there is, there is a transformation on the inside that makes God consider you the person to use. Honestly, because you see, when you want to employ somebody, you look at their resume. That's what you look at. You look at their resume. You don't employ somebody because the person has a Bentley. You don't employ somebody because the person um, mentioned anything that people possess. You know, those are not the things you, you are going to look at who the person is, what the person can do, what the, how the person understands the role you, want, you know, want him to, to, to serve in, how he understands um, working with people, you know, and all those things. Those are the things you are going to look. The same thing, God is going to look at your CV, look at your resume, Resume. Look at whether you have uh, these riches of the full assurance of understanding in the knowledge of the secret of God. Because you see, those are the people that God wants to work with to make sure that things go the way they ought to go upon this earth. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh dear, look, my time is already gone, you know, even in justice. Hallelujah. Both of the Father and of Christ. He went on to say, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I like this one. Let me say it again. In whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. When you say something is hidden, what it implies is that people got to look for it or unless you show them. It's one of the two. When something is hidden, you got to dig around until you're able to find it. Or somebody shows you. It's one of the two. Praise God. In other words, the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, you are not likely to stumble upon them. No, they are hidden. Hallelujah. They are not likely to stumble upon them. You got to dig. You got to pray. You got to stay in the presence of God. You got to, uh, yeah, doing what David said in Psalm 27, stay in his temple and make inquiry. Hallelujah. In his holy place. That's what, that's what the Bible says David was doing. You got to stay there and try to find out, you know, from God. You got to open your Bible and say, Father, grant unto me the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of you and of your son. As I read this Bible, Lord God, open things to me. Let me see all the wisdom, all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden. Hidden means hidden. You are not going to just get it easily. You are going to have to look for it, search for it, or somebody's got to show you. 
Hallelujah. May God help us in Jesus' his holy name. I think it's uh, just three verses, but so very heavily loaded. And I pray that God will inspire somebody, particularly in this present battlefront that we are talking about these days. You really need to be somebody to make yourself available for God to use you in terms of prayer and intercession in that direction. And your reward shall be great in heaven. Thank you very much for sharing time with us today. We trust that you are going to help us to spread word concerning this channel and what we are doing here. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. God bless you.